great. I mean, it really is. It's very rare, I think, in, in a career that you get to be part of something that means, a movie that means something globally. I've made a lot of movies, but this is something that's reached everybody in every country all over the world. I'm really proud to be a part of something that has a, such a strong female protagonist and so many women in positions of authority. I think it's a, just a great model for young people. I was really interested in that and the political narrative. It's a story that's pretty familiar to us, someone who started as a, as a revolutionary, who's speaking for the people, um, and is basically transformed um, along the way and, and uh, uh, through her desire for revenge and, and her desire for power, and so becomes a completely different kind of leader. Um, and I thought it was wonderful to get to tell that story within the context of um, a coming of age story, you know, and a, a political allegory. Yeah, you know, Effie, she's gotten a really interesting education. And um, I'm really proud that I played a character that was open to change. You know, I, I sort of um, think about the Grinch whose heart grows a bunch of sizes. You know, I think Effie's heart really grew over this series um, through her connection to Katniss and Peeta and just through really starting to understand um, what the capital was doing in the districts and, you know, her empathy for the districts that grew and really changed her from the inside out. He's pretty amazing actually watching him because the tone that he sets is so easy and so relaxed and yet he's working on this enormous scale. I like to say that he does the micro and the macro at the same time. So you, you really do feel like you're working on an intimate movie about relationships, about uh, personal politics and, and, and yet when you look at it, it's this you know, massive story about um, politics and change and evolution and growing up. I agree with all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Francis Lawrence is just, you know, he's a remarkable person in that he has just, an, it, he's so chic and has great taste and every detail is looked after. But at the same time, he's very collaborative. You feel like you had a lot of freedom mm -hmm. to create. He puts a lot of trust in everyone and I think, um, it's why all of us, you know, love going to work on these movies so much. It's gross, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sense, how much everybody likes each other. I know. Just how darn likable everybody is <laughs> on this movie. Um, I miss Lenny. Like, I got to work with Lenny, and that was so great. I know you miss Lenny, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, but like Woody and Jeffrey and yeah. Phil. We miss Phil. And, you know, we, we really... Um, we really all got along and I think had just a great respect for each other. I think everyone yeah. felt perfectly cast in the film and that everybody just was doing such a great job all the time. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderfully inclusive group. I mean, I came in later, so you never know what it's going to be like to walk onto a set where people have been working together for two entire movies, but everyone was like, hey, how are you? And you, I never felt excluded. I always felt a part of it. They were wonderfully welcoming. I mean, for me, I um, I was really struck um, by the idea that that it's it's, it's a, this, there's this young woman who really learns how to listen to herself, who knows that she has a moral compass and she uses it, and in in doing so, in in listening to it and finding her voice, actually manages to change the world. It's a very powerful idea. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, one of the great things about what Suzanne Collins created was uh, something reflective of our world today and and this notion that what we have is a little tentative and requires participation that um, you know that we all have to the, the, the best democracies and the best systems rely on the participation of everybody and everybody to be an interested and active citizen in the world around them and I think for me what I hope everyone takes away from this is, is just that 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 um, that you know you you have control you that you can you can take a little control over what your life looks like and what the world around you looks like i mean for me i can say that effie's sense of style has influenced <laughs> me <laughs> it's definitely made me bolder in my sartorial choices for sure um you know just knowing like oh that that could look good on me huh 
I didn't know that. <laughs> um, and, you know, and that she's very, and that she ended up being pretty forward thinking, I think, really helped me. I mean, for me, it was really interesting and exciting to be a part of something that was formative in my children's lives. You know, these were books that they, that they were really compelled by, both of them. My son read them first when they first came out, and then my daughter when she was older. And so the fact that I was able to participate in something that meant something to them and has meant something to so many young people worldwide has been really exciting for me.